Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, my stream. My name is, of course, Bill, if you haven't figured that out by now. And it is Friday. We are doing Out of the Park Baseball. We are now on to the 2016 season, so just a couple more years away from current day. Um, I may uh, shy away from doing two a week so we don't get excuse me too far ahead of everything. Um, but that'll probably won't be until like 2030. Um, once like all the current players are either gone, like most of them are gone, and a lot of the rookies and prospects are called up. So we'll see. But yeah, probably 2030 because Mookie Betts will be almost done with his contract. Trout will be like 37 or 38 at that point in real life. Um, because what is he? He's like 28 right now, which is insane. Anyway, 2016 season, little recap, uh, what I have. National League finally won a World Series. The Dodgers, or not the Dodgers, the Padres got revenge on the Yankees by winning the World Series. The Angels went ham this offseason, signing Brett Gardner, King Felix, and Nelson Cruz. And they also drafted uh, Yohan Moncada. Uh, what else happened? Trevor Story went first overall to the Rockies of all teams. And Josh Donaldson was traded to Houston uh, not long before opening day. Yeah, February. So almost two months ago, he got traded to Houston for the other Chris Davis and Hernan Perez. So very interesting there. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing is just skipping the players of the week and just doing the monthly awards, uh, injuries, and trades and stuff like that. Um, but you know what I'm going to do first? Uh, let's skip these games. All right, Verlander, Gosman, Archer, Harold, Ventura, DeGrom. That's not a bad matchup. Verdana, Ventura, and Jacob DeGrom. But what? let's see if we have tomorrow. Happen, and Mad Bum. That's funny. Granky and Kershaw. I think we're going to watch that game. Scherzer, Liriano, Cueto, Corbin, Erod, Jaime Garcia, uh, Kluber, Keichel, McHugh, Parker, Lynn, Severino, Price, and Nola, Arietta, Strasburg. Rodon, Gray, Gio, Ubaldo. We may just... Let's see what the offenses look like real quick. Alright, Twins got a really good offense. Orioles. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch... The uh, opening day game between the Twins and Orioles. It's been a while since we've done an opening day game. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch the opening day game. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. So, who won the first three? Blue Jays beat Tampa. Mets destroy Kansas City. And Pirates beat St. Louis. Yeah, Granky Kershaw. Let's go. Both in the American League. Starling Marte, Neil Walker, Freddie Freeman, Batista, Flores, Pilar, Hill, Pruszynski, Arcia. Eduardo Nunez, Dickerson, Correa, Jock, Kendris, Adrian, Beltran. How old? Bel 48, wow. Norris and Jace Peterson. Uh, we won't pause it after each play. Let's go. Camden Yards. Was the infield playing in on Nunez? They got a shift on Walker B. He struck out. Freddie Freeman, lefty lefty, gets a hit. And Jose Bautista strikes out. All right, 
right, two quick outs again, and Correa, he's going to get a double. Maybe a, oh, he's getting a, no, tagged out at third. Should have stayed at second, bro. I have a feeling this is going to be a very, uh, fr uh, very pitcher heavy matchup here. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's going to be a pitcher's duel. That's what we're getting at. Is that Jock? Big fly to center field. Adrian Gonzalez. Another one, two, three inning. Wow. Who's that? Orlando Garcia with the single. Kershaw's got four strikeouts already. Ooh, oh man. Is that Beltron with the double? Dirk Norris strikes out. Jace Peterson grounds out. Beltron moves to third. Nunez. Whoa. Eduardo Nunez with a home run. Baltimore takes a 2 0 lead. Corey Dickerson, he's going to have a double or a triple. Corey Dickerson with a triple. But Correa pops out. All right, Baltimore. 2 0 going to the top of the fourth. Kershaw with strikeout number five. He's been on Baltimore for a while. All right, when did he get drafted? 07, so he made his debut in 2008. So this will be his eighth season already. Jock. Of course Kevin Pilar makes the diving catch. Kendris Morales strikes out. And Adrian Gonzalez flies out to Pilar. Pilar with the leadoff walk. He's doing everything this game. Aaron Hill. Infield single. Brzezinski. Double play. Pilar moves to third. And Arcia with an RBI single. 2-1. Oof. Correa cannot make the play there. Neil Walker flies out. All right. Minnesota's on the board. 2-1, bottom of the fifth. Is that Jace? Yeah, Nunez should be up now. Another big fly for him. He's got some power coming off the bat early. Top six. Both teams have five hits, but Baltimore leads 2-1. Jose Bautista with the walk. Okay. 
Wilmer Flores flies foul out. Man, Kershaw's dealing right now. Corey Dickerson. Is that going to be a double or a triple for Dickerson? Double. He's got a triple too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Correa flies out, but Dickerson tags and he's safe at third. And Jock with the single. Baltimore's up 3 1. Kendris. The single, he advances to second on the throw. Pass ball. Jock scores 4-1. Adrian with a walk. Another pass ball. Wow. Kendris now scores 5-1. And now a two-run home run from Carlos Beltran. It is now seven to one, Baltimore. What a game. I got out of control real quick. Is that Jace Peterson with the single now? Wow. That was an inning. They could definitely pull Kershaw now. But they won't. Brzezinski with the double. Orlando Garcia with the long hit to the wall. That'll be a triple. Seven two. All right, they pulled Kershaw. Neil Walker. Fly out. Yeah, Minnesota's gonna have to do a little more than that to uh, try to tie the game here. I'm pretty sure Dickerson has. He has a triple, he got a double, now we just got a single. If Corey Dickerson hits for the cycle to start the season, that's going to be insane. I don't think he's going to get another at-bat unless Baltimore bats around. Well, he comes in to score. Kendris. Oof. He'll get a double. makes that catch is that Dickerson making the catch he's gonna be MVP or at least player of the game not MVP player of the game I meant Wilmer jock with the diving catch a lot of uh, athletic plays from the outfielders this game Beltron grounds out Derek Norris also grounds out Jace walks. And Eduardo Nunez flies out. All right, top nine. Baltimore leads eight to two. Pilar grounds out to start the inning. Aaron Hill pop out to the center. And Przinski grounds to the pitcher to end the game. Oof. Baltimore came out firing. Kershaw player of the game. Six and a third, seven hits, two earned runs, two walks, seven strikeouts. I mean, Corey Dickerson, though, he went three for four with a double. I'm pretty yeah, he had a single, a double, and a triple. Yeah, I, I would have given it to uh, 
He didn't have any RBI, though, so maybe Kershaw. Or Beltran. He went two for four with the home run. Yeah, so that was uh, Orioles getting a big win on opening day. Finish the week. Toronto five and two, Cleveland and Milwaukee five and one, Dodgers six and one, Mets four and one, A's five and two. Not bad. I guess these hitting streaks carry over from last year because there's no way you have a eighteen game hitting streak in where's Altuve Milwaukee in six games. So they definitely carry over from last year. Dave Patton out for the year. Jose Rodriguez. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, fake player. He's retiring. Oh, I keep seeing it loses Beltran. I'm thinking it's, um, what's his name, Carlos. But Pablo Beltran done from the year. And Tommy Pham out five months. Nine and four for Baltimore. Yankees half game back. Milwaukee's ten and two. What does that team look like? Chris Sale, Severino, Miles Mikolas, Dan Straley, Justin Masterson, Rondone, Davinsky, Bearclaw, Zach Du. That's a solid pitch. Uh, yeah, solid pitching staff, right there. And Ciarte, Geyer, Altuve, Castillo, Davidson, Didi. Even now, yeah, the offense is not the greatest. Kevin Euclid is still playing. Okay. Yeah, that's more the pitching than the uh, offense carrying this team. Cespedes gets what? Batter of the week? Pomeranz out a month. Odebel Herrera missing a few more weeks. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Yankees and Baltimore battling it out there. Oof, Milwaukee's only 11 and 8 now. These two 12 and 6, 12 and 8, 12 and 7. All right, I mean, we're only a month in, so not that bad. But Tampa Bay already, and Nationals, slipping early. Houston's 5 and 14. Five and fourteen. Oh my god, four and fifteen. Oof. Twins on a six game winning streak. Phillies on an eight game win oh my god. Nationals have lost sixteen games in a row. They were four and two. And they lost sixteen in a row. Astros have lost nine in a row. How bad? Alright, let's see. One th oh, here we go. They lost two four and extras, ten to five, fifteen to two, seven fives, nine six, twelve four. Another close game in extras, four two, fourteen seven, six one, three two, three one, seven four, three one, five one, three one. Wow, they are losing some really close games. And this pitching staff is oh my god, their bullpen. Carlos Estevez has almost a twenty ERA, Dave Buchanan with a twelve ERA. I mean, their offense is solid, just a lot of, no star player. Turner and Dozier are your highest rated plays, players. You're not going to win games with that team. Seventeen in a row they've lost. Eighteen in a row the Nationals have lost. What were these last two games? One, two, or two, one in extras and 11-1. They're either getting blown out or losing really close games. No in between. Frankie Lindor, the rookie. Oh, no, no, second year, not a rookie. Eight home runs, 25 RBI, 25 RBI hitting 432. And Mitch Moreland for the National League gets batter of the month. Wei-Yan Chen, holy crap. 4-0 with a 127 ERA. And Josh Johnson, 5-0 with a .49 ERA. They both win pitcher of the month. Sean Halton, he's a real player, I don't remember. Oh, he played one year. 
He gets Rookie of the Month. And Yasmani Tomas. He gets NL Rookie of the Month. Oh, Chris Davis. Missing most of the season. Alex Wilson done. Joe Nathan out for the year. And Carlos Correa missing five months with a broken kneecap. So Baltimore is going to miss their star player. Oh, hold on. Has anyone accomplished anything? Robinson Cano gets 2,000 hits. Okay. Lindor, Lindor. Oh, my God. Lindor can win Triple Crown. He's leading batting average, tied in home runs, and a few RBIs away uh, behind Travis Shaw. Rizzo has hitting 400. Tomas has 12 home runs, and Mitch Moreland, 31 RBI. Something happened? Oh my god, the Nationals finally won a game. How bad? So they were at 18 losses. They lost 20 in a row before winning 9 1. Phillies were the uh, one of the first teams to 20 wins. All three uh, National League division leaders have 20 wins. 19, 19, and 18. I mean, the Nationals suck. They're 6 and 26. Pittsburgh's right behind them. And then Houston. Everyone else is pretty close, though, after the first month. Adrian Gonzalez gets hit number 2,000. Ooh, Lindor has not hit a home run in a while. He's still at eight. Yankees, Twins, and Rangers all on a six-game winning streak. Pretty good. Nick Marcakis. Oh, Yankees have Nick Marcakis? Alright, he's going to be out about a week. David Freeze. Another week out. Colorado. All three of their batters are leading batting average. Well, three of their batters, I should say. Not all three. Three of their batting average are leading in batting average. Trevor Shaw leading in... Uh, second in home runs, leading in RBI. As for pitchers, Wei-Yan Chen leading in wins. And you got a three-way tie in the National League. Scherzer and Archer in strikeouts. Jeremy Jeffress and Alex Claudio in saves. Wow, it's early, but Yankees are running away with this division. They have a nine and a half game lead over the Red Sox. But we saw what happened last year. They had the best record in at least baseball. I don't know about the American League. Or um they had the best record in the American League. I'm not sure about baseball. And they got lost. they got Eliminated from the playoffs in the second round. So, you never know. They're on a nine-game win streak. 18-2. 10 A lot of shutouts. 11-3-6-2. I mean, you got Madison Bumgarner, who's... I mean, 5-4. Way in. Chen's 8-0. Familia's having a great season. Whoever this Edgar Vasquez is, Wilson Ramos is having a really good year. Trout, 
hitting over 300. With a 405 OBP, or yeah, on base percentage. Did they get rid of, um, what's his name? Oh, they still have Cliff Lee. What's his name? Um, Jacoby Ellsbury? No way. Hold on. Where is Ellsbury? When did this happen? When did he become a Cub? He signed that giant-ass contract in 2012. Seven-year contract. And he got cut four years later. And then he was on a minor league deal. Oh, my God. I did not see that. Because what happened? He had a great first season, hitting 302. Pretty good second season, hitting 289. 40 steals, not bad. He dropped in 2015, hitting 261. Still 32 steals, so not bad. And then this season, he played seven games, hitting 321, and they cut him. They cut him. Now he's on the Cubs. Wow. And who's their outfield now? Low Kane, Trout, and Mark Kakis. And Curtis Grandison is your fourth outfielder slash DH. And also Carlos Quinton. Wow. That's the... Wow. No wonder the Yankees are winning. 10-game win streak. And they lost one. Down to... 10.5 game lead. Martin Perez's season is over. Jung Ho Gong is going through rehab. Paul Goldschmidt of the A's and Yosemite Tomas, Players of the Month. Jason Hamill, Nate Eovaldi, your pitchers of the month, with Joe Musgrove and Tomas, your rookies of the month. It's funny, Tomas is having a great season. Ooh, I will be right back. Gotta go to the bathroom. All right, we're back. Thanks for sticking by. All right, Tomas killing it. Having a great rookie season. Um, Marlins, uh, where Kendall Graveman will be swapped to. All right, so Cardinals trade Graveman to Miami with Christian Vasquez. Oh, Christian Vasquez and Jonas Martinez to St. Louis. Okay, Graveman's on Miami. They worded that really weird. Robinson Cano, out four months. John Pettibone, out five months. Libra Tor, he's missing some time. Oh, he's missing the rest of the season. Okay, that's more than some time. Marcakis. Oh, we were over that. Okay. June 1st already. Let's go. I mean, the Yankees have a 12-game lead. Everyone else is... Like, Twins are a half game back. A's are three. Marlins, four. Cubs, two and a half. Padres, two. Yankees, again, running away with this division. 
Ah, oh, Jose Fernandez is done for the year. Torn labrum. Is he considered fragile yet? Because at this point, I mean, he made 30 starts his first season, 16, 17, and 11 now. He might be considered fragile. So he's not having a good season. Or a good career, let alone season. Orlando Arcia took over the batting lead. Goldschmidt, 19 home runs. Frankie Lindor's 58 RBIs, though. Oh, he had a big surge. He's second in home runs, second in average, first in RBI. Two home run game, home run, home run. Yeah, he had a big uh, surge towards the end of May. Okay. Uh, it's for the National League, Colton Wong. Yasmani Tomas and Mitch Moreland. Archer and Sale already at 100 strikeouts. So the Yankees are the first team to 40 wins. 43 and 20. Dodgers right behind him at 40 and 24. I mean, the wildcard races are starting to uh, separate a little bit, too. Not that many teams close right now. Corey Seager, oh, only a couple weeks. Luis Avalon, he's out for the year. AJ Pollock, shocker, he's hurt. Mets, another injury, losing Zach Davies for four months. And there's Drupal Cabrera, another setback. Red Sox, four-game win streak, but it doesn't help when the Yankees are that dominant right now. Detroit's on a seven-game win streak, so they're keeping up with the Yankees over there. Phillies up. Yeah, National League's going to be really close with their division races, I think. American League, I don't know how long these two teams are going to um, be locking. What is it? Lock and step? Whatever the phrase is. Lindor is now leading all three American League batting, or batting categories. Average, home runs. And RBI. He is killing it. Ender and Ciarte, Tomas, and Mitch Moreland for the National League. Jeremy Jeffress. He's got 21 saves out of the 33 wins for Seattle. Interesting. Wei Yan Chen also might win the um, um, Cy Young. He's got a 2-0 ERA, 9 wins. How many strikeouts? Only 80. So, not the greatest there. But he's playing uh, pretty well. The Yankees lead is still double digits. Tigers, same thing. They're getting close to a double digit lead with 7. A's half game. Phillies four and a half, Reds half, Padres one. Yeah, National League's gonna be really close. Wild card is like a five team race as of right now. Alright, the AL wild card is a lot of teams are competing. They're just not getting the, the uh, division title for their respective divisions. We got that one. No new injuries this week, which is good. Uh Colby Lewis and Ben Osterman to the Rangers. So Colby Lewis is now on the Rangers. It was his last real season, too. Uh, to the Rangers with... I don't, know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that name at all. And Ron Leary joining the Rockies. Okay. Whatever that trade was. Pirates shipped Adam Lind and almost nine and a half million dollars to the Brewers for Jeff Childs and Justin Vale. Never heard of those two. Yankees.
Yankees are the first team to 50 wins as well. There we go. Frankie Lindor, June's best hitter. He hit 362, 12 home runs, 31 RBI, 21, 26 runs scored in June. He had more than a home run, uh, an RBI a day. As for the National League, Chris Bryant. 30 or 20, 60, 327 this season. Trevor Bauer of the Red Sox. And Edison Volquez of the Phillies. Your pitchers of the month. With Nomar Mazzara and Trevor Story, your rookies of the month. Trevor Story is actually on the Rockies. Funny how that played out. He's 17 50, 3 12 this season. Lindor, still in contention of the batting title, a couple points away from the batting average. Two home runs up of Stanton and 10 RBI lead over Edgar Vasquez. And the National League stat leaders have not changed for like the last month. Let's try that again. Yankees are almost 30 games over 500. No one else is even close. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Tigers. That's about it. Hey, Breeze. How's it going, man? All right, let's save it here. Doing good. Oh, so that's what it's another player of the week award. Home run challenge. That's Manny Tomas against Rube Neto Dor. Jordan Carlos Stan. And Cespedes, Mitch Moreland, Lomo, Pujols, and Frankie Lindor. <laughs> All good. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure cursing is allowed. Madden 18. Wow. Yeah, I haven't had a Madden game the last two years, and I don't think I'm going to get one ever again. Not sure why. Uh, finish current round. Rugnet Odor with the upset over the MLB leader in home runs. Giancarlo Stanton, Lomo, and Frankie Lindor. Wow. Stanton destroyed Cespedes. Stanton and Lomo. Lomo with another big win. I think Stanton wins. That's my guess. Giancarlo Stanton, home run leader, or home run derby winner this year. Is there a way I could see what he's accomplishments? Nope. Nope. Yeah, it depends on the the team and the game. And it's just... I don't know. It's it's tough. It doesn't say how many home run derbies anyone's won. Is there a way I can check that in history? No? I don't think so. Accomplishments? Nope. Was that in your simulation? Pool holes to Boston? Stanton's making bank. Um, where are we at? Home run, uh, All-Star game. Um, Wait, what? That's not how you spell his name. Oh yeah, who holds his on the Red Sox? He was Arizona for a while, Cleveland, Seattle for four years, Yankees, and now Boston. So, uh, yeah, he's all over the place, but he's got one, two, three, four, six MVP awards to prove it. Um, I mean, it's 2016, and he's 36, so 
I mean, he's 40 now in real life, playing, still playing. Uh, that's for the All-Star game, since we simulated that first game. Uh, I'm going to do this one pretty quickly, maybe every couple innings. Uh, for the American League, Paul Goldschmidt, Rendon, Trout, Lindor, Posey, Mazzara, Salarte. Okay. Now he's hitting 344. Carlos Beltran, Charlie Blackman, with J.A. Happ on the mound. For the National League, Enciarte, Panic, Bryant, Seeger, Cespedes, Rizzo, Tomas, Lucroy, Altuve, and Chris Sale. Wow, that is a... What an all-star game for both sides. These are the guys that are the who's who of uh, MLB, right? Well, most of them, at least. Not Tomas, not Solarte. Uh, who else is not? Panic. Lucroy. I mean, Lucroy was, Cespedes was for a little bit. But... Here we are in the 2016 All-Star Game. We'll go two innings. All right, National League. Well, American League scored first. National League answered back with two. We are now in the top of the third. National League adds another run. They are up 3-1. Eovaldi on the mound. Oh, still 3-1. Jake Arrieta. Still 3-1. 3-2. All right. We're getting close. Uh, American League is up. All right. We'll go from here. Top of the eighth. American League down 3-2. And that's a leadoff single from Bryce Harper. Trey Turner with a walk. First and second, no outs. Josh Donaldson. Oof. Oof. Is that going to be two-run score? American League takes the lead with a, a two-RBI double from Josh Donaldson. Carrasco, four-pitch walk. Wow. And Rugnet Odor, a three-run home run. And just like that, the National League blew another lead in the All-Star game. That's like five out of the last six years they've blown a late-inning lead or late-game lead. Who's that? Diedrich strikes out. And that was all with zero outs, too. Charlie Blackman. Hit a home run of his own. Making it 8-3 American lead. A league. 8-3 American league. Eric Hosmer strikes out. Yeah, this National League All-Star team, they choke. I don't know what happens. Orlando Arcia with the walk. They have a lead up until like the 7th, 8th, ninth inning, and then they blow it. Trevor Stork. No, Harper with an infield hit. Chris Davinsky on the mound. Oh, my God. Another single through the middle. Arcia home. 9-3. Seven runs this inning for the American League. Donaldson strikes out. That ends the top of the 8th. Wow. Good thing we stopped there, right? Arenado strikes out. Trevor Story. Oof. Flies out to uh, right center. Cespedes. Grounds out. 1 2 3 inning for the American League. Going to the top of the ninth. Michael Felice for the National League on the mound. Who's that? Marcelo Zuna. Rugnet Odor gets on base again with a walk. Diedrich pops out to the third baseman. Charlie Blackman. Fielder's choice there to end the inning. All right. National League needs six runs to tie. Seven to win. JT Real Muto strikes out. Looking. Gary Sanchez strikes out swinging. Juris Familia here to lock it down. Mitch Moreland pops up down the third base line to end the game. National League blows the lead. Look at that. They were so close of closing it out. 
But the two run ho- a two run double from Donaldson, three run home run from Odor, and Rugnet Odor in his home stadium, Yankee Stadium, is your player of the game. And now we are on to the second half of the 2016 season. Quick recap: Yankees have a 12 game lead. Marlins or Phillies have a 10 game lead. That came out of nowhere. Frankie Lindor currently leads all three batting stats, at least the three main ones, on his possible way to a triple crown. Well, let's go. Uh, let's see if there's any trades recently. Oh, there have been. Holy shit. Um, where we got? Rays will receive Miguel Manuel Delgado and Jerickson Profar, while Colby Rasmus goes to the Red Sox. Uh, San Fran parts with Aaron Rowan for Eric Ibar. Yikes. Antonio Carrillo. Brendan Morrow and Antonio Carrillo for Danny Santana. Los Angeles trades Kenley Jansen and $420,000 in cash to Oakland for Yonder Alonso and Andrew Bellotti. Yonder Alonso was in Oakland? Huh, that's funny. Uh, where do we leave off? Here we go. Greg Garcia to the Dodgers for Luke Gregerson and Ronald Torres. Uh, Brennan Kravitz and Jaime Garcia. Nick Vincent, Danny Flores, and Bill Ortega. Alex Avila and Danny Gallegos for Ivan Zavala. Nationals have shipped Chase Utley and Miguel Zapata for Colbin, Corbin Reinhardt. Interesting. Uh, Joel Zumaya and Manuel Delgado, who just got traded to the Twins for Moises Cifuentes. Okay. Garrett Hofer and some cash for John Jameson and Justin Nicolino. Nationals traded Andre Ethier and Lee Sprague for Kyle Hill. Okay, a lot of trades just happened. Uh, Triple Crown is batting average, RBI, and home runs. The top three. Batting average, home runs, RBI. The pitching Triple Crown is, I believe, wins, ERA, and strikeouts. Which, I don't think we've had a pitching Triple Crown in my simulation. No, we haven't had one. Uh, surprisingly, no. Um, if I could do a quick search. Um, there haven't been that many Triple Crown winners. Uh, Miguel Cabrera was the last one to do it in 2012. Um, yeah, there hasn't been one. Before that, it was Carl Yastrzemski in 1967. So, no, not the greatest hitters for the Triple Crown. Um, I mean, Ty Cobb's got it once, Rogers Hornsby twice, Lou Gehrig once, Ted Williams twice. Mickey Mantle, Frank Robinson, Yastrzemski, and Cabrera. So no Ruth. No, because you have to lead in all three batting categories in the same season. So you have to lead in all three in the first in one season. Very rare. Uh, where are we at? Here we go. Ah, Jose Batista gets his 300th home run. We've gotten a couple of this uh, simulation. Griffey in 95, Brian Giles in 2001, Pujols in 08, and Ryan Braun in 2012. Yankees are 32 games over 500. Phillies, what is that, 22 games over 500? 
Everyone else is pretty close. The American League is going to be, or the American League wild card at least, is going to be very close. Royals half game up, Twins and Rangers tied, Red Sox only a game behind them. Um, where am I going? Adam Eaton. Setback. Jose Iglesias done for the year. Yusmero done for the year. Yusmero Petit done for the year. Sean West, whoever that is, is done for the year. Dallas Keuchel shut down. And Neil Walker. Miguel Cabrera gets 2,500 hits. Uh, where did we leave off? Here we go. Glenn Foster and John Jameson to the Cubs for Rogelio Sanchez and Dil uh, Dilson Herrera. Okay. Emilio Ruiz for Javier Reyes. I think they're just making up names at this point. Yeah, some of these are uh, fake players. It's going to make things very interesting. Like I said, depending on how players... Um, how the progression is, I may cut it down to one a year, or one simulation a week, just so we can elongate this series. Um, all right, let's do day by day with the trade deadline. Travis Mooney for Brett Anderson and Severino Gonzalez. This guy was a role player? Okay. Sam Fold and Hanser Alberto for John Trotter. St. Louis ships Dexter Fowler to Kansas City for Joey Gallo and Shane Jaworski. Wow. Jesse Hahn and Dave McGrath for Carlos Sanchez. All right, and that was the trade deadline. Interesting. Frankie Lindor wins another Batter of the Month title, as well as Aaron Judge. First time we've seen him mentioned. He wins batting uh, NL Batter of the Month, 25, 65, 259 on the season. Kyle Hendricks and David Price are your pitchers of the month with Trace Thompson. Wow. And Aaron Judge, your rookies of the month. So uh, Judge might be on the way up with the Mets of all teams. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was drafted by the Mets. I remember cringing about that. I remember that. Um, all right. August 1st, two months left. Frankie Lindor leading in batting average by a decent amount. He's got a one home run lead over Stanton and almost a 22 RBI lead over Albert Pujols. So it is possible Frankie Lindor wins the Triple Crown. Altuve jumps out in the batting average lead in the National League. Yasmani Tomas and Mitch Moreland still home run and RBI leaders, respectively. Yankees, first team to 70 wins. They're at 75 wins right now. Phillies at 68. All right, nationally wild card, not the closest right now. It's going to be Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and Reds. Braves falling behind a little bit. American League, on the other hand. You have seven teams within three games of each other. So uh, that is going to be very fun to watch down the stretch. As for your division races, we already see the Yankees' gigantic lead, almost 20 games, as they go on another eight-game win streak. Tigers only one-and-a-half lead. A's four and a half, Cubs one, Padres four. Marlins got a 13, or Phillies have a 13 game lead. Oh no, what happened to Frankie Lindor? He just tanked right there. He had a 361 average and yeah, he's got a big stretch right here. I don't have my uh, cursor on. He went from 361 to 339. 
four home runs back of Stanton. I mean, he's got the RBI lead, but that triple crown just slipped away. Damn. Anyone eliminated from the playoffs yet? No. Tulowitzki out a couple months. Cano still not back yet. James McDonald done. JP Aaron Sibby is done for the year. Billy Hamilton out three months. And Solarte out a month. Ah, oh, Joe Maurer gets 2,000 hits. Good for him. In Arizona. They played for Cincinnati for most of his career. Frankie Lindor still hitting 339. Trout Player of the Week. Ooh. He's not doing well this season, hitting 269. How's Trout doing so far? 176 home runs. I wonder how many he had in his. at this point in real life. Yankees, 86 wins. They are 43 games over 500. Clearly the best team in the league right now. Do they have Cliff Lee back? They do. That's huge. Charlie Morton's hurt for them. He wasn't doing the best. Bumgarner, Chen, Lee, Musgrove, Matt Garza. With Jiris Familia, 3 ERA, 27 saves. Who would have thought? Roster expansion. Paul Goldschmidt and Trevor Story are your batters of the month. Marcus Stroman and Corey Kluber, pitchers. Scott Shebler, wow. And Trevor Story are your rookies of the month. Uh, Alright, you got six teams competing for the AO wild card, three for the National League. But two of the division races are still close. Oakland has a 14-game lead, so they won that division. Yankees won theirs. Philly won that division. Oh, you Darvish got a no-hitter. Good for him. Two walks, 11 strikeouts. Good for you, Darvish. 15 and 6, 292 ERA. Oh, Frankie Lindor is getting close to the batting title. He's only, what, five thousand, uh, yeah, five thousand points away from Hosmer. He's two home runs up on uh, Stanton and 30 RBIs up on Paul Goldschmidt. So he's making a case. He's coming back strong. Yankees, 90 and 45. Their magic number is eight. Yankees won the division. On September, what? I'm going to guess 11th or 12th. Phillies right behind them. Oakland. And you got half game, half game, half game. Okay. This is going to be fun to watch. Alright, draft pool. Phillies clinched. Uh, Baltimore, Washington... Colorado all eliminated. Draft pool. Cody Bellinger, Matt Chapman, Rafael Devers, Ozzy Albies, Mitch Garver, Luke Voigt, Reese Hoskins, Jesse Winker, Paul DeYoung, Ian Happ. As far as pitchers, you got Jose Alvarado, Josh Hader, Walker Bueller, Kyle Freeland, uh, Aaron Bummer, Kyle Crick, I like him, Jack Flaherty. Max Freed, Denilson Lamette, he's going on my list. Love me some Denilson Lamette. Tyler Molly. Vetta. Alright, you got some decent pitchers here. Ugh, fuck Domingo Herman. 
Antonio Sensatella, I like him. Giovanni Gallegos. All right. There's some depth there. Uh, Albies, Bellinger, Chapman, Ian Happ, Camargo, Hoskins, Brian Anderson, Harrison Bader, Carantini. I like him. Yandy Diaz, Riddle, Robles, Ahmed Rosario, Willie Calhoun, Clint Frazier. He's going on the list. See if a team doesn't waste him like the Yankees have wasted him. Francisco Mejia, Anthony Santander, Chance Cisco, Dominic Smith, Dwight Smith, Talkman. We'll talk to you. Uh, Bradley Zimmer, Christian Arroyo, Franklin Barreto, Derek Fisher. Yeah, this is a really good draft. A lot of names here. It's going to be fun. Oh, Lindor tied for second in... Uh, Batting average, Stanton tied him, 46 home runs, and he's got 140 RBI. Best batter, he's got best OPS. Trey Turner has 70 steals? Where the hell did that come from? Eduardo Nunez has 40, wow. Melky Cabrera has the longest hitting streak of the season at 23. Yankees, top two, they have two of the three best ERAs in the AL. And they have the third best closer right now. No wonder they have 96 wins. Oh. Oh, that's tough for the Yankees. They are losing Trout for four weeks. So they might get him back in the uh, division round of the playoffs. That is huge. Uh, who else? Texas eliminated. Pittsburgh and St. Louis as well. Tampa Bay out. Chicago's eliminated. Mets are eliminated. Pittsburgh and Giants eliminated. Ah, man. The Yankees are going to be without Trout for a little bit. But they do get to 100 wins. Oakland clinched their uh, division. Phillies, obviously, Miami's out. Padres clinched a playoff spot. Their division's still up for grabs. Yankees had 102 wins. Arizona and Padres are in the playoffs. Now we just got to figure out which one gets the division and which one's getting the wild card. Toronto's out. All right, what do we got to look for? Cubs are in. All right, Red Sox, Twins, Astros, Diamondbacks, and Padres. We got, what, four days till the season ends? Noah Syndergaard dominates the Reds. Four hits, 11 strikeouts. Um, all right, yeah, so we're doing Red Sox, Twins, Astros. Yeah, all right, we'll keep track of those three teams right now. Red Sox, Twins, Astros. Red Sox, Trevor Bauer against Mad Bum. Yankees, Red Sox. Yankees win. Granderson, Pierce, and Locaine all hit home runs. Uh, twins win, and where are the Astros? Who are they playing? Do the Astros not play? Now it looks like they're off. All right, Twins up a game. Red Sox and Astros tied. Ooh, Tigers are now in the mix too. Let's see what they do. Tigers lose. Reds, uh, Cubs clinched the playoff or division, and Cincinnati clinches the second wild card. I think, yeah, I think the Diamondbacks can still win the division. There's three games left of the season. 
Royals clinch a playoff spot. Twins are still three games in. All right, so we've got to keep track. Twins, Red Sox, Astros, and Tigers. Uh, Red Sox win. Twins win. Astros win. Uh, what was the other team? Oh, Tigers. Are they not playing? Or are they playing in some interleague? Oh, yeah, okay. Tigers lose. So where does that leave us in the standings? Tigers two games back now. Well, we'll do Padres Diamondbacks because I think if the Padres win, they clinch the division. They do. So I'm pretty sure Padres clinch the division. Arizona and Cincinnati are the NL wildcard teams. All right. What now? Ah, oh, DJ LeMay who gets a five-hit game. Oh, Frankie Lindor. He, we got an update. Two days left. He's leading batting average. He's got a four-home run lead over Stan. And where's that? A 34 RBI lead over Freddie Freeman. So Frankie Lindor could win the Triple Crown. we got two days left of the season. All right, if the Tigers lose, they're out. So I'm going to go to their game. Tigers lose. They are eliminated from the playoffs. We'll do Houston, Red Sox, then Twins. Houston wins. Uh, Red Sox. Red Sox get destroyed. And the Twins lose as well. So now the Red Sox are a game back with the Twins and Astros are the two wild card teams right now. Wow, this is going to get real close. We have um, Frankie Lindor is likely winning the Triple Crown as he's got a lead in all three categories. Um, we're right now, we're just focusing on the AL wild card. There are still three teams within uh, that can win the, the uh, win the wild card. Red Sox are a game back right now. The Twins and Astros are leading the wild card. The Yankees had 105 wins. Best team in baseball. All right, we'll do the Red Sox simulation first because if they lose, they're out. Red Sox lose, so the Red Sox are eliminated from the playoffs. Twins and Astros are your two wild card teams, but who's going to be the first? Who gets home field advantage for that game? Uh, Astros, they win. Twins, Twins win. Uh, no, I'm going to keep going probably until. I think I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm probably going to go until 2030. Because uh, I think that's still, like, 10 years after, you'll still have some of the big names in baseball. Acuna, Bellinger, I'm pretty sure Betts, Trout will still be in the league. Um, so you'll still have some of the big names at 2030. Um, after that, I don't know. But to I think to stretch out the series, I may drop down to one day a week. Um, do one year uh, each. Um, I think I'm going to do it Mondays. We'll do one year every Monday just to stretch it out a little bit. Because I started in 93 and I'm already in tw going into 2017 pretty quickly, I think. Um, and I don't think I would get there or get here this quickly. So I kind of want to stretch it out, make it worth my while. Um, I may do something else with this game because I love this game. I may take control of a team. And just uh, do it that way. But we'll see. We got plenty of time. Um, what game am I simulating? Oh, none. Okay. We'll finish that. Right? We have a one game. How did I figure out the wild card? I guess head to head record. I, I guess that would be it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, 
I love doing this, but I also don't want to like get bored or just do it because I have to. I do it because I want to. Um, so I do want to stretch it out a little bit. If I do two a day, uh, which I have been, it gets to become a lot. I rather I want to like switch up some of the games. Like after backyard baseball, I'm now doing um, I'm playing Halo on Wednesdays uh, just to get something different because I was very baseball heavy. Uh, all right, here we are. 2016 playoffs. Yankees, again, best uh, record in the American League. They face either Houston or Minnesota. And then you also have Kansas City and Oakland. On the National League side, you have the Phillies with the best record in the National League facing either the Reds or Diamondbacks and the Cubs and Padres. Uh, we could get a rematch of Yankees-Padres. That'll be the third time facing each other. Uh, we could get a few other... Uh, interesting World Series matchups, but let's simulate the first. You know, I want to save it here first. And also, that depends. Like, me continuing the series also depends if this game continues to stay on Game Pass. Uh, I don't. I didn't buy the game. It's currently on Xbox Game Pass for PC. Um, so if you are a Game Pass member, you can download this game for free. So as long as this game is up there, uh, I will do the series. If this game is ever removed um, from... Uh, from Game Pass, depending on the price, I may buy it again. But until then, yeah, I'm fingers crossed that this game's never removed. All right, who are the Yankees facing? Yankees, Astros, Phillies, Diamondbacks, and you still have the other two series. Is yeah, I I, I bought uh, MLB or Out of the Park Baseball 20 on Steam. Uh, I so I still have the 20. Um, it depends if this game's on sale at any point. I may buy it. All right, so we got Yankees, Astros, Royals, A's, Phillies, Diamondbacks, Cubs, Padres. Did the Yankees have Mike Trout? Did he come back yet? Yeah, Mike Trout's playing. Okay, so he's back in the... No, hold on. Playoffs. No, Mike Trout's not playing yet. They're going with Locaine, Markakis, Granderson with some Keon Broxton. Oof, where is Trout on his recovery? Is he ready? Is he coming back? Is he ready? All right, we got Yankees A's, Phillies, Padres. I kind of want to take this one slow just to see if we get Yankees Padres for the third time. Yankees up one. Oh, they're tied. Padres up one. The series, both series are tied 1-1. Yankees up 3-1. Phillies up 2-1. 3-2 Yankees. 3-2 Phillies. Oh my god, Yankees A's is to a game 7. A's, Phillies. Oh my god, the Yankees are eliminated again with the best record in baseball. Oh, hold up. Um, oh, Luis Garcia is done for the year. No, Eric Hosmer. No, Frankie Lindor has to win the Triple Crown. He tied batting average. No way. Alberto Mora wins NL batting title. Eric Hosmer for some reason, wins AL batting title. But Frankie Lindor wins the Triple Crown. Look, I mean, it's not official, but he tied Hosmer in batting average, leads home runs, lead RBI. He has to have won the Triple Crown. That had to have count. Come on. All right, we got... Sorry, I'm writing down, down some comments for the uh, the YouTube description. So we got uh, Oakland and Philly. Damn, Frankie Lindor got robbed. Um, if we look back in the playoff history... Where did we go? 93. Oakland lost to the Diamondbacks in 07... But they beat the Marlins in 2013. As for the Phillies, 
This is the Phillies' first time in the World Series in my simulation. So if we take a look at the Phillies' uh, offense here, or at least their team, Price, Paxton, Volquez, Lackey, Kinsler, Souza, Real Muto. Oh, they got Real Muto. Moreland, Alex Gordon, John Jay. Not the best offense. I mean, Moreland and Souza hit over 30 home runs, but I mean, their most consistent hitter was JT Real Muto. So, not surprised. All right, game one Edison Volquez against Matt Moore. Phillies take a 1 0 lead. David Price against Jonathan Neese. Series tied at 1 with Doolittle getting the win. Gerard Parker and James Paxton. Phillies are leading 2 1 with Mitch Moreland, Jan Gomes, and Real Muto all hitting home runs. Garrett Hoff Hofer and John Lackey. Phillies up 3 1. Alex Gordon, Mitch Moreland, Aled Miss Diaz, all hitting home runs. Phillies up 3-1. They have Edison Volquez on the mound. Will they clinch it? No. A's win 16-7. What the hell happened? They scored eight runs in the eighth inning. Jesus. Oh, Phillies have also had three errors. All right, A's hold on for one more day. Philly's got David Price. Yeah, this is the World Series. Uh, Philly's David Price, Oakland with Jonathan Neese. Wow. We're going to a game seven here. Uh, we're going to do it, what we did with the All-Star game. We're going to go uh, a couple innings at a time. Kinsler, Jay, Real Muto, Diaz, Moreland, Souza, Gordon, Holt, Goins with James Paxton. Jankowski, Simmons, Posey, Goldschmidt, Carpenter, Ozuna, uh, Chris Davis, uh, currently on Baltimore, Pedroia, Jason Worth, and Gerard Parker. All right, we'll sim the first two innings, see where we're at. Nothing, nothing. Phillies up 1 0. They're up 2 0. They're up five nothing. Five two. Chapman's on the mound. Let's we'll see if the A's can come back. All right, lead off single. Oh, my bad. Jankowski strikes out looking. Did that just say he had the golden sombrero? Damn. Angelton Simmons. Big fly out to left field. Posey. Oh. They had a couple shots to get some runs in, but couldn't. We're going to the top of the ninth. All right. No run scored. A's. Down three, bottom of the ninth. You got Goldschmidt, Carpenter, Ozuna with Chris Davis after that. Ooh, Goldschmidt strikes out. Carpenter flies out to the shortstop. And Marcelo Ozuna. All right, walk. Chris Davis. That left in a hurry. Crushed it. 5-4 Oakland. Dustin Pedroia, can he tie the game? Oh, that looked good. He had a good hit, but the Phillies win the 2016 World Series in dramatic fashion. That was a great game. James Paxson, your player of the game. Six in a, uh, six in a third innings, three hits, two runs, zero earned runs, one walk, seven strikeouts. Great game. But the Phillies are your 2016 World Series champions. 
Yeah, that's actually been a thing for uh, on Androids for a while, the picture-in-picture thing, but iOS 14 just brought it in. Um, I mean, it's about time. That's something that should have been in iPhones for a while. Uh, but yeah, Androids have that. Funny enough, I am getting my first iPhone in March when I'm due for an upgrade. Uh, so yeah, I've been trashing iPhone ever since they came out. I've never had an iPhone before. Uh, but I am getting my first one in March. But yeah, that little uh, picture-in-picture thing, uh, that's been a thing on Androids for a long time. iPhone 7, wow. Yeah, I'm getting either the 12 or the 12 Pro. I'm not sure which. Uh, where are we at? All right, uh, let's save it after the World Series. All right, simulate the awards. Uh, so we have uh, at least one retired. I can't believe they don't give Frankie Lindor the batting title or the um, triple crown. Uh, this was the World Series. Danny Mele retiring. Max Scherzer is re signing with the Mariners. 142 million over five years. Gold gloves. Taylor Rogers. It's funny enough, he's on the Twins. Gets rookie of the year. Or not rookie, reliever of the year. And AJ Ramos gets NL reliever of the year. Platinum sticks. Nomar Mazzara, unanimous rookie of the year. 33, 107, 295. Trevor Story, unanimous NL rookie of the year. 45, 128, 311. What a season. Jason Martin of the A's, manager of the year. Dave Leeper of the Phillies, NL manager of the year. J.A. Happ of the Houston Astros wins AL Cy Young. 19 and 6, 248. Madison Bumgarner just behind him. Wei Yan Chen finished third. He went 20 and 6. Mad Bum went 14 and 7. Hap, we just went over. And James Paxton, unanimous NL Cy Young Award winner. 14 and 7 with a 211 ERA. 260 strikeouts. His teammate David Price finished right behind him. Frankie Lindor, unanimous AL MVP. And he should have won the Triple Crown. I'm giving it to him. He didn't win Rookie of the Year, but... And the NL MVP, Chris Bryant. 36-114, 324. For your Padres. In his second season, Lindor gets MVP in his second season. Oh yeah, Lindor was not a rookie. I don't know why I keep thinking he's a rookie this year. Um, but yeah, Lindor. He's a triple crown winner in my book. Um, let's see. I don't think they gave it to him, did they? Nope, that's bullshit. He did get the first 50 run home uh, 50 home run season in three years, which is pretty cool. We had three no hitters this season: Pineda, Cueto, and Darvish. We've got a lot of no hitters. Interesting. A lot of cycles. Matt Adams and Adam Eaton hit for the cycle this year. Interesting. All 20 game hitting streaks here. That's too much. Um, let's see who's still in the lead for a single season. 
Babe Ruth, slugging, Billy Hamilton. Oh, other Billy Hamilton, 1894. Griffey still leading, 63 home runs in a year. Frankie Lindor, new war leader in 2016. Nothing recent in pitching. Okay. Uh, free agent filings. Hall of Fame voting begins. Yep. Bartolo Colon, almost 20 years in the league right now. All right, who we got? Cliff Lee at 38, Troy Tulowitzki at 32, Beltre at 37, Luke Croy at 30, Andrew Miller at 31. That's not a bad option. Howie Kendrick at 33. All right. Um, all right, offseason. Who's getting the big contract? Luke Croy is the top free agent, really? I don't like that. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay. Oh, Adrian Beltre, two-year deal to the Dodgers. Okay. He's the first domino to fall. Minnesota. Troy Tulowitzki going to Toronto. That's funny. Wow, Indians lost a lot this offseason. Who's their, uh, who they lose? Howie Kendrick had a five and a half war. Okay, they lost volume than anything. Yankees. Ian Desmond they lost. Charlie Morton. Adrian Beltre. Cliff Lee. Yeah. They lost a lot as well. All right. Whoa. A lot of pitchers. Dodgers making big moves. Edison Volquez gets a five-year deal with the Twins. Ubaldo Jimenez to Texas. Howie Kendrick gets a five-year deal with the Dodgers. Jaime Garcia, two-year deal. And Lucroy gets a seven-year deal with the Twins. It's huge. How old is he? 30. It's ridiculous. Cliff Lee, one-year deal to Cincinnati. Josh Johnson gets a five-year deal to Cleveland. Yusmera Petit, three-year deal to Texas. Er, uh, Oliver Perez to Baltimore. Urban Santana to Tampa. Too low to t uh, Toronto, just like in real life. Don't think it was... Oh, yeah, it was 2015. He got traded to Toronto. So a half season early. Koji Uehara to Detroit. Chris Rusin to the Mets. Yeah, it looks like Lucro is going to be have the biggest contract. Kenley Jansen to the Phillies. Wow. And it's now time for the first year player draft. Baltimore starts it. Yankees finish the first round. We know the players. Let's see where they're going. Baltimore again with the first overall pick. They had the first overall pick in 2007. They got Kershaw. The next year, they had the first overall pick. They got Wade Davis. Who are they going to get this year? Are they going reliever again? Are they going to go... Uh, what do they need? Kershaw, Bedard, Clevenger. No. Maybe reliever. They can use a back-end relief pitcher. They're pretty solid on offense. Kershaw's on the trading block? Yeah, they don't want to pay him. That's why. He's owed 20, almost $23 million this year. So Kershaw is done with Baltimore. So they're either going to go with... Like an Alvarado or Hater, Or another bat. Uh, I think they go with uh, Alvarado. Wow! Orioles go Cody Bellinger. Damn, they're going offense. 
I wonder if he's coming up as a um, first baseman. Yeah, okay. He's listed as a first baseman. Rockies go with Matt Chapman. So they don't have Arenado. They get Matt Chapman. Where is Arenado anyway? He's with the Cubs. Okay. The Nationals get Rafael Devers. So they don't have Anthony Rendon. They get Devers. Angels get Ozzy Albies. Okay. Mitch Garver to Texas. That is so weird. Luke Voigt was drafted by the Cardinals in real life, too. Before he got traded to New York. Wow. That is funny as hell. Luke Voigt. Pittsburgh. Reese Hoskins. Oh, nope. The White Sox go with Paul DeYoung. Jesse Winker to the Rays. Walker Bueller to the Mets. Wow. Giants get Ian Happ. Johan Camargo to the Indians. Ahmed Rosario to the Marlins. Kyle Freeland to Seattle. Miguel Andujar to the Brewers. Jack Flaherty to the Braves. It's a good pick. Victor Robles to the Tigers. Yikes. Wait, I mean, the Tigers... No, never mind. Uh, I was thinking it's a different team. Yandy Diaz to Boston. Sean Newcomb to Cincinnati. Daniel Robertson to Houston. JT Riddle to Arizona. Brian Anderson to Kansas City. JD Davis to the Cubs. I guess they don't have Bryant, so there's their third baseman. Nico Goodrum to the Padres. Not a bad fit. Harrison Bader to Oakland. Nick Williams to Philly, which I'm pretty sure that's where he is. And for the last pick in the first round, the Yankees go with Jake. Right? Jacob Junis? Really? That's your pick? Okay. Uh, let's. No, no, no. Whoa, oh, nope. Complete the round. Jordan Luplo to the Cleveland, McMahon to the Tigers, JP Crawford to Arizona, Delmonico to the Phillies, and Ben Lively to the Yankees. A lot of relief pitchers. Holy shit. No wonder you could find pitching late. Alvarado's still on the board. Is he fragile or something? No. He's fine. Second round. Jordan Montgomery to Baltimore. Oh, excuse me. Carantini to the Rockies. Verdugo to the Nationals. Francisco Mejia to the Angels. Uh, Danielson Lamette. <laughs> Danielson Lamettes. That's the more like it. All right. If you guys leave, I get it. Dwight Smith to Cleveland. Hader to the Marlins. Uh, Brandon Woodruff to the Red Sox. Talkman to the Astros. Uh, okay. Ah, Bradley Zimmer to the Yankees. Interesting. Max Fried still on the board. Alcantara. Uh, third round. Willie Calhoun to Baltimore. Franchi Cordero to the Angels. Clint Frazier to Tampa. Wow. Domingo Herman to Seattle. Fuck that guy. Brett Phillips to the Dodgers. Funny enough, he's the one that won them won the Rays, what, game four or five? Game four. Uh, who else? Uh, Derek Fisher to Kansas City, Jose Alvarado to the Padres, Sam Travis. Oh, yep, okay. What 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 happened? What do you mean? What 
What do you mean, what happened? I'm confused. Is he really? I don't know why. I don't know that name. Yeah, you said what happened. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm doing the draft. Uh, where are we at? Round four? Oh, no. I've just been going through the draft. Um, nothing crazy. Oh, Emilio Pagan's still here. Chase Fry. Gallegos. Good draft so far. Uh, Franklin Barreto to Baltimore. Okay. Christian Arroyo to St. Louis. Max Fried goes to the Pi... Uh... Yeah, I'll go back in a minute. Uh, Max Fried's a reliever? Really? Oh, I mean, yeah, 20 stamina. That makes sense. Uh, he goes to Pittsburgh. AJ Minter to the White Sox. Sandy Alcantara to Seattle. Okay. Joe Jimenez to the Brewers. Crick to Tigers. All right, yeah, I think I'm assuming the rest of the draft. Really don't know anyone else. Um, I know Anthony Banda. Who else? Steckenrider to the Tigers. Pagan to the Reds. Okay. Aaron Bummer to the Yankees. Uh, Jace Fry to the Angels, not a bad pick. Gallegos to the Indians, I like that. Kenny Middleton to Seattle. They loaded up on pitchers this draft. Uh, I don't see anyone else that I know slash care about. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, first round, Cody Bellinger goes to Baltimore. Matt Chapman to the Rockies, Devers to the Nationals, Albies to the Angels, Mitch Garver to the Rangers. And, like in real life, Luke Voigt goes to the Cardinals. Probably not sixth overall, but he's on the Cardinals anyway. Hoskins to the Pirates, and I think the big one is Walker Buehler to the Mets. So the Mets drafted Walker Buehler and uh, Denilson Lamette in this draft. Yeah, they got Lament in the second round. They got Adam Engel in the third round. Of course they draft Thomas Nito. Just like in real life. God. I want something different. Tyler Wade goes to the Marlins. Uh, the Mets. Stuart Turner. Yeah, they went pitcher, pitcher. First two picks. But yeah, now it's uh, Denilson Lamets. That's what we're looking at. Um, but yeah, Bellinger, Orioles. I mean, they got Kershaw and Wade Davis. They won a World Series when that happened. So let's see if, uh, yeah, they won in 2011, a couple years later. So maybe they won a World Series with Cody Bellinger on the team before they trade Kershaw away because they want to do that. They don't want to pay him. All right, let's finish the offseason here. Oh, let me do my Hall of Fame voting. Before I forget. Yeah. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, Washington doesn't have... Um, what's his name? Uh, Rendon. So they go with Devers. And Flaherty. Yeah, that's a great pick for the Braves. Uh, we got 32 players on the ballot. Alright, let's... No. All. Who was close? Definitely voting Tom Glavin. I'm definitely voting Garcia Parra. Definitely voting Piazza. Right, these... Yeah. Smoltz, great player. Glavin, definitely. Nomar, three-time MVP, sure. Um, Pudge, oh, hell yeah, going in. Sosa, I'll vote for Sosa. Barry Larkin, definitely. Bobby Brayu. Garrett Anderson, no. Bernie Williams, no. Maybe a Brayu. Matt Schilling. No. Shane Reynolds? Is he going in? 
Yeah, I mean, I go by the Hall of Fame monitor uh, stats, the Hall of Fame standards and Hall of Fame monitor. I can't click on every player to see it. Like, if they're close, like if I'm debating it, I'll go to the awards. Like, Abreu's borderline. He's got an MVP. He's got two World Series. Um, right here. Oh, you can't see. Um, where it says clear ballot, you could just do sortable list. And you could just sort by any stat you want. So if you want to sort by home runs, you can do it that way. Uh, if you want to sort by their height, for some reason, if you want to elect tall guys. Same thing with pitching stats. You want to do strikeouts, their war. But yeah, it would be this right here, sortable list. You could do it that way. Because at that point, if you don't, you're just scrolling through and it's hard to... It's not neat this way. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I'm voting Sammy in. Why not? I want to fill my ballot, but I don't know who. Brown, Schilling, no. Palmero, no. Albert Bell. I'll vote Abreu in. Uh, he he would have got dropped if he either didn't get elected after ten seasons or ten ballots. So if you don't get in at, on your tenth try, you don't get in at all. Uh, or if you get less than five percent of the vote on that ballot, you're dropped after that. Um, anyone close? I'll go with Kevin Brown. Why not? Yeah, so either way, uh, that's why Clemens would have been dropped. Uh, Clemens, no. Not in real life. Uh, let's finish the winter meetings. Texas gets Joe Smith, Charlie Furbush to Toronto. Rule 5 draft. Dan Murphy to Baltimore, four-year deal. Gavin Floyd to the Yankees. Dodgers killing it this offseason. Jaime Garcia, Howie Kendrick, and Adrian Beltre. Your big three signings. Yankees get a middle reliever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on sale too, so... I'll keep an eye out. If it's on Game Pass, I'm fine because I'm paying for Game Pass and it's free. Anyone? Oh, Dylan Bundy still on the uh, Rule 5. Anyone else? No. All right. We'll complete the draft. See if anyone gets picked. Oh. Orioles get Dylan Bundy, like in real life, from the Red Sox. Jeff Francoeur. Who's what? No, he's only 32. Max Stassi to the Indians. Okay. Rule 5 draft is over. Uh, Jonathan Papelbon still in the league. He goes to the White Sox. Brad Ziegler at 37 years old to the Yankees. Charlie Morton to the Yankees. Okay. Uh, Papamon wasn't on the uh, Red Sox to begin with. He was with the Twins slash AAA. So now the Yankees rotation. Bumgarner at 27. Charlie Morton at 33. Joe Musgrove at 24. Wei Yan Chen at 31. And Felix Romero. And their bullpen's a bunch of old guys. Ridiculous. Uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah, I was going day by day. Because the Hall of Fame results are coming up. Oh, we got some trades. Uh, Matt Shoemaker to Philly. Tommy Hansen to the White Sox. Yulieski Gurriel to the Giants. For Teoscar Hernandez and Pat Valakia. Tyler Naquin to the White Sox as well. 
Uh, Rangers trade Justin Bohr and Allen Hansen to Pittsburgh for Michael Waka. Matt Carpenter is now a part of the Royals for Jordan Zimmerman and Curtis McDonald. Didn't? Oh, never mind. Yes, Mighty Tomas to Milwaukee for Kenta Maeda. Wow. Tomas was Milwaukee's like best hitter, and they trade him for Maeda? Do, do they not want to pay him or something? No, I mean... Yeah, he's been in the league for two, not even eight, two years, and you're trading him for Maeda? I mean, same thing. He's been in the league for... It's his first season, right? Yeah, okay. Carlos Beltran, at age 39, signs a one-year deal with Boston. And Freddy Sanchez goes to Cleveland. Okay. All right, it's 2017. Chris Tillman to St. Louis. Yeah, it's possible. Draw a dice into Cincinnati on a four-year deal. Hall of Fame results, who's in? Bobby Abreu gets in in his first year. Tom Glavin finally gets in, and Pudge just gets in. Uh, and then all these guys at the bottom were dropped because they didn't get 5%. Anyone else who didn't get uh, any votes are also dropped. Uh, Piazza still at 61%. Garcia Parra, almost 54%. Sosa might not get in. It's his sixth year. He's got an MVP. He's got two titles. He's got a couple all-star appearances. Giambi. Not bad for his first year. 43%. Palmera is probably not getting in. Albert Bell is not going to get in. Damn. But yeah, Bobby Abreu, Tom Glavin, and Ivan Rodriguez. Or Ivan Rodriguez. Are your Hall of Famers. Simulate a month to preseason. Oh, a couple more trades. Where did we leave off? Wow, a lot happened over the last month. Okay. Carlos Zambrano to the White Sox. Addison Reed to Cleveland. Jake McGee to San Fran. Andrew Miller to the Phillies. Mark uh, Rostromsky uh, to Kansas City. Joel's Maya to Toronto. Rick Porcello to Cincinnati. Jared Weaver to Kansas City. Phil Hughes to Cleveland. Tommy Hunter to San Diego. Matt Belisle to Toronto. Ian Bloggs and J.P. Howell. And Fernando Salas to the Twins. Alex Avila to Cleveland. Steve C uh, Shack to the Cincinnati uh, Reds. CeCe Sabathia still going strong. Two-year deal to the Dodgers. Um, Carlos Zambrano. To Seattle, Fernando Rodney, at 39 years old, back to New York. He, he just played there in 2013. Kendrick Morales to Cleveland. Jerry Blevins to the Twins. James McDonald and Sergio Romo to the Mets. Chris Tillman to the Angels. And as far as trades... Braves sent Steven Strasburg to Arizona for D. Gordon and Manuel Margot. Wow. Bruce Maxwell to Boston for Mike Miner and Manny Ortiz. Manny Ortiz to the... Oh, my God. That's funny. The Red Sox had a player called Manny Ortiz. Uh, Marco Hernandez... And Bobby Castro for Matt Weeders. Sean West for Mike West. That's what this trade was. Chaz Rowe and Jerry McIntyre for Nick Ahmed. 
Diane Vicieto and Brian Galvin for Jimmy Nelson. Okay. Yeah, Dodgers, great offseason for the Dodgers. CC, Garcia, Kendrick, and Beltre. Yankees, not so much. I mean, you bring back Charlie Morton, but that's about it. And the Braves, you get Manuel Margot and D Gordon. Oh, who retired? Uh, Todd Helton retired this year. One of the birds, Chad Qualls, Marcus Giles. All right, Bonko Song retired. He didn't play that long. All right, who's going to be? All right, these players are eligible for the home uh, for the Hall of Fame. This uh, at the end of this year, Roy Halladay, three time Cy Young, he's getting in. Levon Hernandez, no. Ted Lilly, no. Kevin Millwood, no. Brad Penny, no. Kerry Wood, no. Uh, as far as batters, Jibber Jones, yeah. Jim Tomei is definitely getting in. Scott Rowland, maybe. Asada. No. I don't think he's getting in. Decent career, but no. Was that 16 seasons? And then Andrew Jones. Oh, Andrew Jones, maybe. Andrew Jones had a really good career. And uh, 248 average. He's a three time champion. Yeah, so we'll have a couple Hall of, uh, I think a couple first time, uh, first ballot Hall of Famers. Jones, Tomei, Halliday, maybe Roland. Um, where are we at? Go to spring training. See what the predictions say. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, Jose Fernandez is not going to pitch in 2017. He's definitely injury prone at this point. Oh yeah, I'm going to check my uh, players to watch list to see if there's anyone else that has retired. Rusni Castillo retired? What the hell happened? Why did he retire? Three days, five months, day to day, six days. And then he retired? Why did I, I want to see that note. Here we go. Nothing? He just retired. Damn. All right, see you, Rusney. I mean... Yeah, but, like... I mean, he's 29. He played one game in AAA. 91 games in... Yeah. All right. Later, Rusny Castillo, I guess. That mirrored real life. <laughs> Unretire the player, turn him into a coach, induct him to the Hall of Fame. None of that. 
Ellsbury and Hamilton still looking for jobs. Jabba Chamberlain's in AAA. Sugar Ray Maramon, great name. He's in AAA, and obviously Clint Frazier is. Oh, uh, I want to. Who do I? I gotta add more batters. I'm running out of batters here. Who just got drafted? Who do I want to add? Uh, Moogie Betts, I think, is doing pretty, pretty well. Do I not have him on my list here? Mookie Betts, playing for Tampa. He's got a uh, Silver Slugger and MVP award. In three seasons, 58 homers, 59 steals, hitting a career 294. So, he's not an all-star yet. He's still, he just turned 24. So, we got plenty of time with Mookie Betts. Let's check out this rookie draft. I gotta add another batter or two. Um, do I want to add Voigt? I want to add Luke Voigt. Just to see how he pans out in St. Louis this time around. Um, I want to add Andujar, but I feel like I'm adding too many Yankees. Granted, they're not Yankees in this game, but still. Oh, like Mike Talkman, I want to add. See if he pans out. He's fragile already. Hmm. All right, let me go back. Yeah, it's not a bad list. I'll, I'll take it. All right, I have the same number of pitchers and batters. So that works. Um, how are they doing? Felix Hernandez is killing it. Mark Burley. Meh. Justin Verlander is doing pretty well. Yu Darvish is killing it. Our oldest Chapman. Almost 200 saves. All right, let's go to batters. Yeah, Mike Trout, already leading war. I can't believe Ellsbury got cut. Or, yeah, they, was it he got cut from the Yankees? Is that what happened? Yeah, he was released four years into his big contract. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, all right, last thing I want to do. Oh, yeah, predictions first. We'll simulate to opening day, and then I want to see um, who's close to some uh, milestones. Rays 6, Indians 7, Houston 1. Phillies 8, Brewers 5, Rockies 1. Okay. Fucking Aaron Judge is on them. So the Mets have Jose Ramirez, Aaron Judge, and Corey Seager. Who else do they have? Crone. They have Yachty. All right, they did call up Bueller. They have Lamette in the bullpen? Get the fuck out of here. Opening day. She was going long. Mad bum. What is going on here? Hold on. The Yankees got him on a seven year extension. Oh, Dodgers went 20 and 8. That offseason paid off. The Yankees by one, twin six. Oakland wins the division by 29 games. 
Holy shit. That would be insane. Philly 7, Brewers 1, Dodgers 2. All right, what was that? Thirty-seven million a year? Are you shitting me? Thirty-seven million dollars a year for Madison Bumgarner. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, you're a win-now team. You've had the best record in the American League for like the last four years. I mean, they had the money for these thirty-seven million. What is that front? Okay. All right. Who? They got Trout on the hook for twenty-six and a half. Edgar Vasquez for twenty-four. Mad Bum for twenty. Curtis Granderson for almost seventeen. Low Kane for fourteen. Wilson Ramos for almost twelve. Next year, Mad Bum's on the hook for thirty-seven million until twenty twenty-four. Wow. Trout, 26.4 million until 2022. Edgar Vasquez, 24 million. Low Kane, his salary goes up to 21 million until 2023. Curtis Granderson for another two seasons after that. Wilson Ramos till 2021. I mean, Rugnet Odor is pretty cheap. Wow. That's a fucking lot of money for Madison Bumgarner. I mean, he's done well for the Yankees. Three straight seasons under a three ERA. Over 200 strikeouts a year. K per nine is pretty solid. Walks per nine, pretty good. Not allowing that many home runs. 37 million. Uh, we got some trades, didn't we? Uh... Justin Smoke to the Angels. Jason Hamill and Jorge Bonifacio for Miguel Rojas and Xander Bogarts. Wow. Bogarts and Rojas are now in Detroit. Oliver Drake and Brad Long for Jose Perella. Wow. All right. Uh, we're at opening day. Let me see who's close to milestones. Pujols needs 72 hits to get to 3,000. Beltran needs 121. Pujols needs seven home runs for 550. Uh, that's about it for hitters. Pitchers. Cologne and Granke need two and seven wins respectively to get to 200. There's a few pitchers close to 2,000 strikeouts. A few relievers close to 200 saves. And that is that. Um, wow, I'm still surprised. $37 million extension for Madison Bumgarner. And the big contract this offseason goes to Lucroy, I believe. Yeah, Lucroy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to call the stream there. I think I pretty much went over everything. Um, we just finished the 2016 season. National League All-Star team blew another lead late in the game. We had the Phillies beat the A's in the World Series. Francisco Lindor wins the AL MVP. He should have won the Triple Crown, but technicality gave the batting title to Eric Hosmer. It's bullshit. Cody Bellinger went first overall to Baltimore. And as we just saw, Jonathan Lucroy gets the big contract this offseason. Seven years, $197.6 million to the Twins. Um, yeah, so I'll be back, what's today, Friday? I'll be back Monday with the 2017 season. And I think, yeah, it is a lot of money. Uh, wait, which one are you talking about? Lucroy or Mad Bum? Either way, it's still a lot of money. Uh, I'll be back Monday with the 2017 season. And I think that week I'm going to do one season a year. Uh, just to get, um, just to stretch out the series, because if I do keep doing two years a week like I have been, I'm gonna be done in like by Christmas at uh, at the earliest. Yeah, both. That's that's right. 
Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, out of the park baseball every Monday. Um, we'll do a year every Monday just to give it some time and stuff like that. Because I also post the videos on YouTube if you don't catch them live. So doing two of those a week is a lot as well. Um, so I'll be doing this every Monday. And uh, Wednesday, um, I just started playing Halo Combat Evolved for the first time. So I'm doing that every Wednesday. And Friday, i got to figure out something else to do. Uh, I do want to differentiate the games that I'm playing. So Monday's this, Wednesday's Halo, and Friday will be something new. Uh, so again, please follow me here on uh, Twitch, trying to get to 50 followers. I'm like 30, I think I'm like 15 or so away from 50, trying to get to affiliate status, so I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't catch me live, I do post at least the Out of the Park Baseball videos there on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Mr. Underscore Piv 1127. Ludwig, appreciate the follow, man. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. I do post when I go live, um, so you'll be notified there. And uh, subscribe to my podcast, Two Balls and a Strike. Uh, me and a couple of friends record every week. We just posted an episode this morning, and as you uh, probably guessed by the name, it is a baseball podcast. Um, but yeah, that'll be that. Uh, everyone, have a safe weekend. Enjoy Halloween tomorrow. Be safe. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, I'll be back with uh, Adelaide Park Baseball 21 on Monday. Everyone enjoy your weekend. Peace.